Hello real life fans and I am back again with a new video of is she worth your gems or is she not? So as you can see this is a new banner which is Hermes new May fan a front moon unit aka a tank and as you can see here in my screen there's Michiru, there's Perseus and if you know Sigfield is known to be um, frontliner tanks. Um, Belshiari could be one, but i will get into details, but she is the best tank among all four of them, in my opinion. I mean, among, among three of them, but yeah. So, let's get to it. Um, first of all, she is so cute. I mean, ooh, ooh, look at that spin. Look at her angel horns. Look at that Zonia's hourglass, but yeah. Um, there she is, looking cute with her fly shoes, but, um, she has tank potential and because of her kit, speed, and health. So she has decent HP, and as far as I know, she is one of the fastest or the most fastest front stage girl tank. In my opinion, because she has 1700 something speed and she's way faster than Perseus, Michiru, and of course, she already, if you actually count her. What makes her so special is her kit and also her speed, and I could actually see her in PvP. Um, let us discuss her skills before um, saying if she's worth pulling or if she's not. Um, she has Thrust Billions, which is kind of meh. Well, at least she gets to recover. Brilliance for herself, I guess. But Doubt of the Wise is actually very interesting because most of the units have aggro for Climax Act, but this one you get to aggro two rear enemies and put evasion rate up to yourself. This is very nice because it just takes 3 AP for you to aggro two DPS units at the back. And as you can see, um, the meta lately has been um, Sleeping Beauty, Houndruko, Dorothy, and many annoying units are usually located at the back, either mid back or back stage girls. If you get me, if you do PvP, I'm sure you're aware of that. Um, she her she also has provoke all enemies and damage received down to self. Her kit is very versatile because first she aggros the people who can climb Axak at the very back and at the same time provokes all enemies and gives her a buff. She gets evasion buff, she gets damage received down buff. And that's actually very useful because she could tank a lot of damage and if you get both of her skills and if you set it up properly, if you have like proper timing and maybe if you have like AP down with um, Misora or Puck, you could actually be able to um, proc these two in the proper timing you want. You're, be you're able to cancel Climax Axe and at the same time provoke everyone and get all the damage to yourself. And that's what the tank is, a true tank is supposed to do, protect their teammates at all costs. And looking at her kit compared to Perseus, Michiru this is actually for me the best kit. Because, I mean, she's taking everything for herself. Um, Perseus, on the other hand, is actually pretty decent. She gives attack. Am I right? Uh, a buff, damage buff, and she gets a shield. But, I mean, it's nothing much. Her climax act is the aggro. But looking at Mei Fan is actually pretty cool if you're actually gonna use her. Her climax act is something I actually am looking forward to. Um, high damage to all enemies, and agility up to all allies. If you know, agility is very important, and I think this goes up to 30%. I am not sure, I'll take a look at it, and if ever, I'll discuss it again in the comment section. But agility buff is very important in PvP because you need to go first before you get destroyed, eliminated, and deleted by the enemy team. But yeah, this is actually something new. And pretty cool, I guess. Unit skill is just moon damage. If you check her 
um, if you rank her up to 9, you get evade, fortitude, and provoke to all enemies. Okay, why do I see her in the PvP meta? Because um, people even in the SSS, the high SSS, they still bring Monte Cristo just to like charge everyone's climax act and at the same time tank all the damage. And bring Mei Fan is actually very cool because if you're provoking them and you still have the provoke and aggro, you can just like keep spamming it. I mean, it costs a lot, but it's kind of worth it if you're actually trying to build your time max up. I'd say she's a better replacement for Monte Cristo, hands down, because of her passive, yes. She has evade, she has fortitude, she has everything she needs to be a perfect tank, honestly. Um, is she worth pulling? Okay, um, I was actually thinking if I should pull also, because I was like, hmm, should we need her? Do we need her? I mean, if you take a look at it, if you're a newbie, if you don't have a tank, yes, she is very worth it. You should go for her, get her, try to get her, enjoy her. She's very useful, especially in PvE, if you're, if you're gonna focus on that. At the same time, PvP. I guess, SS to early SSS. Um, if you don't have a tank, and you want a tank, maybe if you're a beginner or not a beginner, and you want someone who could help you in SSS, to reach SSS at least, I guess she is someone worth pulling. Because if you notice, you'll be seeing a lot of Perseuses in the early SSS, SS. And I was actually part of that. <laughs> but if you're a person who has proper set of PvP units and you are planning to pull for Mayfan, I don't recommend it. I'm saying this because um, if you have Puck, you're good. Period. If you don't have Puck, I don't see you needing to pull for this unit because utility is the mo most important thing in PvP. Debuffs, um, aggro, um, negative stuff, negative anti-debuff stuff. If you take a look at the higher ranks in PvP, they actually don't even bring tanks anymore. They just bring um, stage girls who are actually useful to their team and would benefit their team the most. Yes, Mayfan could benefit the team and protect the team and give agility buff, sure. But in the upper ranks, they could just melt you down. They're very fast, and it's about the speed game and whoever could cleave first. And it's not about, you know, provoking aggro. I mean, it could get to that, but in my opinion, if you're a strict, high, I don't know, upper PvP kind of person, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I'm like high in the rankings because I'm just in the top 300, but I don't think she is worth pulling if you have a proper team set for PvP already. Because tanks, for some reason, are not really a meta in <laughs> upper PvP. Whoever goes front, that's it. You just fight your way out. <laughs> I've been noticing Vampire Shioris and Momotaros are the ones in front, and maybe Bucks, but yeah, that's mostly it. But back to uh, this question, is she worth pulling? Yes, definitely. She has a very nice kit. I'd actually love to pull her, but remember, there's Birthday Maya in what? Three days, four days, she's really near. You have to save for that. Birthday Claudine, six days after, six, seven days after. So yeah, she is a totally worth it unit. If I was a starter, I'd get her. If I don't have a tank, I'd get her. So I hope you did enjoyed this video and I hope this helped you. And I hope you enjoyed. So see you next time. Bye.